We've been trying to trace out circuits, electrical circuits, using SketchUp. Uh, there has been some question about uh, drawing the wires uh, that go between outlets and then run through the walls and so on. Uh, previously, uh, I showed how to um, put down the 2D uh, floor plan symbols for uh, the different electrical um, outlets and switches and such like and also the uh, curved dotted line that is used to indicate a logical connection between a switch and uh, light or other uh, um, electrical uh, appliance. But uh, none of these really address the question of laying out wires and apparently that's something we need to do. Um, the, unfortunately in SketchUp using the line tool which would be nice uh, does not allow you to um, change the color of lines. Lines are uh, lines or edges are always black or always of a particular thickness. Uh, they have no dimension to them and so lines are, uh, are kind of difficult. And because of this we'd like to we'd like to have some way of, of making colored lines um, but we need to have a flat face in SketchUp to make a color. So one way in which I did this was I made a rectangular object that was very thin um, 0.125 by say 12 inches like that perhaps that's too thin let's rescale it make it twice as thick okay so a quarter inch quarter inch thick uh, and then you can use your uh, paint paintbrush tool to give it a, uh, a color. We'll use uh, the regular SketchUp colors and make it red like that. So that's one way to do it. What I did was I made a component out of this and then then used it repeatedly to to lay out my lines. I would set it down, put in a new component, uh, stretch them and so on. But this is sort of a pain to work with and uh, and other people have told me well that that this is not a very convenient way to do it so we're going to try something else uh, what I'd uh, what we'd ideally like to be able to do is draw a line that goes kinda like that that and that and then be able to say I want this line to be thick and of a certain color there isn't any way to do that however if you were to go to the Sketchucation forums at forums.sketchucation.com, uh, you need to you need to log in. You need to register with them, uh, which is free, and then log in. In this forum, you have a set of these red buttons, and there's a plugins index. And if you hit the plugins, then we have this long list of all these different plugins that were written by people. Most of these are Ruby files. They use the Ruby language. Uh, and they do all kinds of things. Uh, I'm going to say we don't care about them. But uh, what you can do is you can run a, a find within your browser and look for uh, 2D tools. Whoa, there it is. And the 2D tools are a plugin that's made by this person, Tig. Uh, TIG is also the maker of the of the hole puncher tool that I had uh, described in a different video. So we're going to uh, go to the 2D Tools version 5. And this is TIG's uh, announcement of the 2D tool uh, box and what it does and how it works. And yeah, there's a lot of reading there. But in any case, at the bottom of, of, of TIG's discussion, there is this link to a zip file. It says extract the files in this zip into plugins or their subfolders, read help for more details. And so you can click on this thing. You won't be able to, to uh, obtain this file unless you have uh, logged into the forum. And then you can save it and unzip it into 
your C colon backslash program files Google Google SketchUp 8 plugins folder. So this means that you need to have access to the internals of, uh, of SketchUp so you need to be an administrator on the computer on which you do this. How does this help you when you're here at school? You need to then copy your personal uh, SketchUp program folder onto a flash drive and you can run SketchUp from there. Uh, that's also discussed in a uh, different video. Okay, so after you've uh, copied those files into your plugins folder, then you need to restart SketchUp and then in your view menu under toolbars you'll find that there's a new tool called 2D Tools. If you hit that you'll get the 2D toolbar. Usually it comes out kind of like this but I like to dock it to the side. There are a bunch of these things. Set Z plane. Make a 2D line. Make a 2D rectangle. Basically what all these are, these are special case lines and rectangles that sit on uh, a single flat plane so they will not inadvertently um, get drawn uh, above above the floor plane that you have you have set or the default floor. I'm not going to worry about those things because because that's not what we're really after. What we really want is the 2D line style tool which is right there and if you use that uh, down here it'll say 2D line style contiguous yeah, uh, there are instructions in here to right click on some empty space and when you do that you'll get your settings. The width the width is default at 1. I want to have a 0 0.5. Whoop. 0 0.1. I'm hitting the 0 key repeatedly until as I'm going down a list. See there's a list here but it's kind of a pain to work with. Okay, 0 0.5. The style I want is you can have all kinds of styles. I'm going to use a continuous style because I like it. And then the color is black by default. And if I hit this, I get this extremely long list. Actually, this list is kind of also ridiculous because it has every color that SketchUp has in the uh, materials library. That's too many colors. I want it to be red, so I will uh, hit the R key or red. If I hit repeatedly it's going to show me all the colors that start with R. I can also use my up down key to go go up and down the list. Anyway, so width 0.5, style continuous, color red. Hit OK. I still have this tool and any line that I click on with this tool will be turned into a thick red line. Is that really a thick red line that we're looking at? No, actually it's not. It's not really a line uh, in, in the usual sense. If we look in Entity Info, it's actually a group called tilde 2D, tilde styled line 0 0.5 continuous red 11 sixteenths inch by 4 foot 7 inches. Hey, it gives me a length. That's great. And it's in a layer by itself called 2D line style. So if I move this, you can move it around and stuff, right? I can delete it. Let's look at my layers. Ah, I have two layers here. One of them is called tilde 2D line style. That's this. And then what's this one? 2D line hidden. If I click on there, what? what's hidden is the original line which is hiding down there. So the original line has not been removed. It's, it's simply been, uh, been put into a hidden layer. And this original line is, is the full length of the, uh, of the thick rectangular line-like thing that was just generated. And it's also in the center of that line. And actually, I can move this thing around here. So these lines are going to be around. Uh, and potentially, they can cause you trouble later on by uh, well, by being there when you when you move your 2D lines, if you move these, then these lines are going to stay. So, so every once in a while, you might want to actually purge this layer, this layer here. And the way that's done is that you can click on it and hit minus, and it will say it's not an empty layer. You can delete the contents, hit OK, and so now all I have are my 2D lines. So this is a group. 
that means that I can I can take all my all the 2D lines that I just drew all these things here and I can put them together in a group and I can put them in a layer and I can call this group something like um, circuit wiring for the living room something like that anyway so this allows you to use the rather more convenient uh, line tool for drawing your lines to to build your circuits and then replacing or covering over those lines with a, uh, a thick rectangular object um, that centered where that line used to be. By the way, if I felt like it, I could change this to 0.25 so it's smaller. And then I can redefine these these blocks here. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because those are those are no longer this is no longer a um a line, this is actually a rectangular box. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna purge it, delete everything in there, and we'll try this again. Here are my lines. Now I can hit it with my thinner one. Come back here. I can hit it with my with my thinner line definition if I felt like it. So this is a 0.25 definition. That looks a little easier to work with. I think that's what I'll use from here on out for making making wires. Group them together, give them a name, put them in a layer. And so now I have the wiring for my circuits. After this, let's say I wanted to put in oh another circuit that goes there, there, and there, like this. I could take my tool and say, instead of red, I want it to be yellow. And now if I hit these, there we go, I'm covering it over with a yellow line. And so I can make as many of these as I want to with uh, all the different uh, colors and textures available to SketchUp.